Okay, we got ourselves another Gemini Jets unboxing. So, this is the box. Um, it's not much right now. It's just an Amazon box. I'm going to go and take it out. Because I already know what aircraft this is. And maybe you read the title. Because it is a special aircraft. So, I'm going to go to this out of the camera. There she is. Here inside, and ooh, the packaging on this looks completely different. There she is. It is my British Airways Concorde. Really like this aircraft. This is my first supersonic aircraft that I have in my collection. So let's take a look inside. Ooh, looks prettier in person. You know, you can't tell that because this is a camera. Um, flap information. 2017 release, and this is a completely different box. You can see the Concorde um, flying over a bridge. I, don't, I do not know what that bridge is. And you can see, help to conserve, and yeah, so there's the thing up there. So, I guess I don't really have much else to show. I'm going to take her out. This is a very special aircraft. I am very happy to have received this aircraft. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this aircraft because it is a very special aircraft. Ooh! Wow! Holy cow! Check this beauty out! Oh my goodness! Yeah, this... This is perfect. This is the perfect aircraft for anyone who's just kind of starting a model collection, I guess. But that's just my opinion. You can tell me that. So there's the Rolls-Royce Olympus engines on, on the underneath. Um, get the Gemini Jets logo. There's the, there's like the tail wheel kind of on the back. The registration is G-B-O-A-F. And let's see. There is a history on this aircraft. There is a, um, so according to the internet, first flew on April 20th, uh, 1979, was the last Concorde to be built. Made Concorde's final ever flight on the, on Wednesday, November 26th, 2003. Departed from Heathrow, Heathrow at 11.30, Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT, made a last brief supersonic flight carrying 100 BA staff, over the Bay of Biscay, it then flew a lap of honor above Bristol, passing, um, I apologize if I pronounce some of these names wrong, Portishead, Clevedon, Weston Supermare, Bristol Airport, and Clifton Suspension Bridge. Which, you know what, now that they speak of the bridge, this might be the bridge that's actually featured on the box, so... This, this might be the bridge that is featured on this box. So, I, yeah, this should be, so you let me know if this is the right bridge if you have seen this bridge before so then it landed at Filton soon after about one o'clock in the afternoon in Greenwich Mean Time met by Prince Andrew who formally accepted its hand over flew a total of just a little over 18,000 hours so the aircraft is now the main exhibit at the Aerospace Bristol Museum that is such a beauty aircraft. So, this is going to be a nice aircraft for my airport. And there's a snoot droop. I mean, it doesn't do that on the 1400. I think on the 1200 it does. But that's just a little history in the aircraft. There is a, um online article that you can find, and it shows you, like, all the aircraft histories. There's the underneath registration. This is G-B-O-A-F. If I can get it to focus on the underwing. There you go. That's about the best I'm going to get it. So, there we go. That is my Concorde. I'm really happy to have received this aircraft successfully. Okay, so this is where the aircraft will sit. This is part of my model airport. I got a little parking lot with larger than normal vehicles. And then this is where the Concorde will sit on my model airport. I'll have to get like a better display for it sometime in the future, but... That should work out properly. That's yeah, a little messy. See, all my airplanes are just laying around. 
Frontier. Yeah, I just got a whole bunch laying around. So, that concludes this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you in the next one.